everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing the lovely face makeup. Make sure you go follow her on Instagram. She is honestly insane and so flexible. Anyway, let's jump into the video. So I'm starting off with eyebrows um, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo as usual and just filling in them lightly because she's got great brows anyway. Then I'm taking the P. Louise Eye Base in the shade 02 and just using this to carve out underneath her eyebrows and also use as an eye base as well. Then for the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be taking the Be Perfect um, XL Pro palette with Stacey Marie. And I'm going to be starting off by taking the shade Persuasion mixed with Wasted. So it kind of creates that purpley pinky sort of color. Um, and then I'm going to be um, blending that out with a mixture of Funky, Pep Talk and Foolish. Kind of all of the pinky sort of shades really. Um, I'm kind of just, yeah, choosing pink shades and putting them onto eyelid. This kind of pink and purple look was my thing. Um, then I'm basically taking the Inglot 94 gel liner and I'm going to apply the Jordan Tisha, Tishia, I don't really know how you say it, pigment in Pinky Promise. And then also the Inglot XL um, 7 body sparkles as well on the lid, um, just to give it a little bit more glittery sort of effect. Then just taking the Inglot 77 gel liner to line her lashes. And I'm also going to add a tiny bit of the darker color, the um, lights out shade from the same palette, just in the outer corner, just so the liner isn't just blunt and doesn't just stop like flat. Um, then I'm going to be taking the um, Blinky V lashes in the style Envy and I'm applying some of the um, same sort of eyeshadows that I used underneath on the bottom lash, no, that I used on the top on the bottom. Um, just so it evens out and obviously color as well. I like to use the P. Louise eye base underneath. Then I'm just taking the Inglot 77 gel liner and mixing that with the Helen E Cosmetics um, new neon pigment and kind of creating that gel liner for the waterline. Then just applying some moisturizer and then applying the foundation. So taking the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Light Beige mixed with a little bit of Warm Beige as well just to give it that more of a golden um, glow to match her tan. Taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard all over her T-zone and also under her eyes as well. Then setting that with the Laura Mercier Powder. Contouring and bronzing with the um, Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick and also MAC Give Me Sun and Hula Bronzer as well. As you all know how much I am obsessed with that. Setting the face with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. And then I'm going in with the contour, so the Hula Bronzer. And then I'll also take Give Me Sun too. Just, I'm obsessed with this combo. I think it looks really nice in the skin. And yeah, it just gives like the skin a nice like glow to the, I don't know, it just looks really good. <laughs> then for blush, I'm taking the um, MAC, um, oh my God, MAC Warm Soul and really applying that to the cheeks, making sure that like, because obviously it's supposed to be like a pinky glow sort of look. So I'm really applying that. Taking the Doll Beauty Shine Bright Highlighter and also the Moon Child Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills um, on her cheeks too. Then just blending out those um, edges of the P. Louise eye base. And then I'm just taking pretty much all the pink shades and pretty much like the purple shades too from the um, Stacey Marie palette just to really blend out that eyeshadow, kind of really, really blowing it out just to make it, it almost looks like a bit fairy-like. It's weird. Um, and applying the Inglot 111 pigment um, just to get a little bit of extra sparkle. I've then added some gems to her face. These are just from a $2 shop and I just use the Duo Lash Glue as you can see in these pictures right here. Um, it just kind of obviously gives it a more of like a fairy sort of effect. And yeah, I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. I also made like a little butterfly crown and um, like a little butterfly to put on her finger as well. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, give faith a follow on instagram and yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye